Chinese food can sure be delicious, but do you ever wonder what goes behind the scenes? In this video, we will cover some of the dirty secrets on what goes behind the scenes in Chinese restaurants and things they don't want customers to know about. Some of these are confessions from former restaurant workers, so be sure to watch the whole video because you're in for a shocker. Now to be clear, it's not to say that all Chinese restaurants do some of the things I am about to mention, but it's best to be aware of what might be going on behind closed kitchen doors. Before we go into the kitchen, share this video with Chinese food lovers, smash the subscribe and like button. Oh, I know I don't think I see what I'm seeing what I'm thinking. I know good and well y'all ain't gambling back here. It's supposed to be a Chinese restaurant. Number one, reusing leftover rice. I once ordered a pork fried rice and was told by a friend to never order any sort of fried rice. His dad had worked as a cook in a Chinese restaurant and told him that the rice that was used to cook fried rice was actually leftover rice that was unfinished by other customers. The uneaten rice will be scooped off the leftover place to be reused in fried rice orders. Now it's hard to tell if the rice has been eaten because most of the fried rice is soaked in soy sauce so they have a stainish brownish color. Meanwhile, orders that came with white rice were less likely to be reused because it will be a lot more obvious. What are your thoughts? Be sure to leave your comments below as I want to hear your opinions. Number 2. Don't offend the chef or you might end up with extra unwanted ingredients in your food. This probably applies to any restaurant where you shouldn't piss off the people that handle your food. I've been waiting to talk to this prick for a long time. You take a frozen cylinder of ganache and you set it in the ramekin so that as the outside cooks fully, the inside becomes molten. Okay. It's fucking molten, see? It's fucking molten, you asshole. Ed? This steak is medium rare. I asked for it medium, and I wanted extra gravy on my mashed potatoes. Let me ask you something. How hard is your job? How intelligent do you have to be to take a food order? It has been confessed by former Chinese restaurant workers that if a dish was taken back to the kitchen due to a complaint made by the customer, such as the food not being cooked as requested, the angry chef might add extra ingredients that are not on the recipe. Floor seasoning and dishwashing soap with some of these extra ingredients. Number 3. Many Chinese restaurants will have a front section with a hanging meat display where you can order things like soy sauce chicken, barbecue roast pork, and barbecue roast belly. The butcher then chops and prepares the meat upon order. Well, it's known in the Chinese community that there will be leftover meat around the cutting board area. It will be often the undesired parts of the meat, such as the more fatty parts and less fresh or even things like the chicken butt that will be discarded. Now listen closely because I don't mean discarded as into the trash, but more like it's discarded into unsuspecting customers order who are not paying attention. The butcher is a seasoned veteran and quickly leaves out half of the meat you have chosen and quickly switches it out with the less desired meats that are already sitting on the cutting board. He would then box it up and the customer wouldn't notice a thing, well at least not until they get home. Pay attention and don't get duped. Number 4. Gutter Oil If you follow our channel, then gutter oil should not be a new term to you. For those of you who are new, I am not going to cover too much on the origins of gutter oil since we already covered this in our Fake Chinese Foods That Can Kill You Part 2. Click on the link on the top right of the screen to get more information. Now, According to an article in July of 2020 by the Beijinger, Shaolong Khan Hot Pot Restaurant based out of Yuling, China has been using gutter oil in their hot pot soup in which up to two tons of this gutter oil in a span of two years were being used and consumed by annoying customers. People in China unsuspectedly consume between two to three million tons of deadly gutter oil annually. If you're eating in a Chinese restaurant in China, you can possibly be consuming foods that were cooked using gutter oil. It's just a matter of probability. Number five, if you ever dine at a Chinese restaurant, you probably notice that they will give you a teapot for your table. Now hot tea might be great to wash down all that oily food, but wait till you hear this little industry secret. The tea in Chinese restaurants have been known to be recycled. And what I mean by that is when customers finish their meals and leave the table, chances the leftover tea in that teapot will be then dumped back into the large teapot in the back to be reheated and reserved to the next table. The trick is to go for the restaurants that serve the tea with tea bags as it's harder to recycle the tea because the flavor will be gone. It's the tea with the loose tea leaves that you should be looking for. Number 6. I witnessed this one myself personally and I was shocked. 
The employees were washing already used plastic cups they used to serve iced coffee. These are the to-go iced coffee cups, the same ones that you buy at the coffee shop which is meant to be disposed of after one use. They were pouring out the previous customer's leftover iced coffee, tossed out the straw, rinsed out the cup and lid, and dried it with a the towel, then stacked it back on the shelf to be reused for the next customer. If they were using iced coffee cups, who knows what else is being reused. Number 7. Up until now, we shared industry secrets that were confessed by former restaurant workers or witnessing things personally. Now let us share with you one incident that actually made the news. Now according to an article by South China Morning Post in March of 2021, a staff worker of Manling, a popular Kungji restaurant chain in China with over a thousand stores, were caught on undercover camera picking out pork ribs out of a leftover soup to be reused as cooking Chinese yam and meat kanji for other customers. When questioned by an undercover reporter for Fujian Television, the worker admitted that they were using the leftovers to recook again and serve to other customers. I guess that's one way to cut operating costs. The restaurant chain has since issued a public apology, according to an article by South China Morning Post. Hope you found value in this video. On your next trip to a Chinese restaurant, you will be more aware and mindful of what you're ordering and eating now since you have the knowledge of industry secrets. Share this video with other Chinese food lovers, subscribe, and stay informed. Genius Tomato out.